we've seen how to integrate a linear ODE, but if we change things up just a little bit, we can get some good practice on a class of ODEs that is very similar. These are equations of the form dx dt equals lambda x plus c, some constant. These are called affine ODEs. They are simply linear ODEs with a constant on the end. That's what an affine function is. That's linear plus a constant. Now, it would seem as though the same method that we used for integrating the linear ODE would work in this case, since I'm not sure how I would guess a solution for this. So let's do the same thing that we did before. But before we get started, there's one little thing that's going to make life a little bit simpler. What we're going to do is we're going to factor a lambda out of that constant, capital C, so that what I really have on the right-hand side is lambda times quantity x plus a constant. I'll call that constant little c. I hope that's not too confusing. Now, why are we doing that? Why are we factoring that out? Oh, let's see. Let's follow the same method we did before, separation and integration. We start off with our differential equation, dx dt equals lambda times quantity x plus c. Now we're going to separate. We're going to put all the x terms on one side, all the t terms on the other. What we're going to do is multiply through by dt, divide through by quantity x plus c. This makes things very nice. Why? Because we integrate both sides. When I integrate the right-hand side, it's lambda dt. That gives me lambda t plus a constant. Let's call that constant little k. On the left, when I integrate dx over x plus c, what do I get? Uh, that's just going to be the antiderivative of x plus c. That's going to be log of quantity x plus c. We can check that. If I differentiate log of x plus c, I get 1 over x plus c. Good, good, good. Now, exponentiate both sides of the equation. On the left, the exponential, the log, they undo each other. We get x plus little c equals, on the right, e to the lambda t plus little k. We can, just like last time, use exponent laws to say that that's e to the lambda t times e to the k. That e to the k, e to the whatever constant that is, we're just going to replace that by another constant. Let us call that capital K and put that out in front so that we have x plus little c equals capital K e to the lambda t. Now, what is that constant of integration, capital K? Oh, that is obtainable by looking at the initial condition. Plug in t equals zero. On the left, we get the initial condition in x, x naught, plus little c. That has to be equal to what? On the right, we plug in t equals zero. That just gives us k. That means that capital K is really x naught plus c. So that x plus c is quantity x naught plus c times e to the lambda t. Moving that little c over to the right-hand side, we get a final answer. x, as a function of t, equals quantity x naught plus c times e to the lambda t minus little c. And that's it. That's our solution. But so what? I mean, why are we bothering with these affine ODEs? Are they actually good for anything? Oh, yes, they are. That's what we're going to turn to next.